Very much. Now, Utah State grad uh, programs in the College of Education and Human Services are some of the top in the nation. In fact, for the second year in a row, U.S. News and World Report named the College of Education here on campus as one of the top tier in the country. Why? Well, both the professors and the students say it's really because of the learning, the research that goes on here, and the hands on opportunities. What kind of sensations or thoughts show up for you? And how do you react to those thoughts when they come up? How often does that happen? Kate Morrison knows how to ask probing questions. Okay. And when you say pull back from it, are you meaning pulling back from those thoughts that come up or pulling back from something else? Pulling back. And the doctoral student in psychology tells me that Utah State University has prepared her well. At the point that I am now in my training, I really feel like a, a competent professional who can go out into the world and, and provide services to the people that are the most in need. Dr. Jared Schultz is the Associate Dean for Clinical Education and Community Outreach. He says Utah State's on-campus community services provide an incredible tool for grad students. That the best way to learn is to do. And so our students, both undergrad and graduate students, have opportunities within the over 30 clinics that we have in the, in the college to learn the skill sets to provide the direct services to people across a variety of disciplines. He wasn't in his house his entire life. Right, that's true, that's true. And that includes the opportunity for grad students like Francis Gibson to teach undergrads. This opportunity to teach this intro level class having 100 plus students has been an incredible opportunity. Um, whereas probably most doctoral students would have a much smaller class. Gibson says she came all the way from Florida to attend Utah State because of what the College of Education and Human Services offers. I was attracted by the interdisciplinary nature mm -hmm. of, the, of the program. And that's something Dr. Schultz says the school is focusing on as it moves into the future. People don't just come in for one thing. They come in with a, a wide variety of issues that need to be addressed. And so the future for this and really the, the potential comes out in the development of interdisciplinary uh, services. We should also mention that the faculty staff secured about 42 million in funded research last year over at the college. That is the only school in the state uh, to, ta to be in Utah to place in the top 50 when it comes to uh, funds raised to do that research here in the